Hey guys, it's Jamie and I'm here with my January favorites. Wow, the first month of 2015 is officially done. And um, I'm excited with the products I have to show you. Uh, before I get started, I just wanna jump in with something really quick. Um, for those of you who are new, uh, I'm Jamie. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and just a little housekeeping note. Um, some of you are asking over Instagram, um, in comments on YouTube videos, uh, who is Mindy? Because I mentioned my fr I mentioned my friend Mindy quite a lot on these videos, and uh, Mindy. Just a side note, and for those of you who already know this, I'm sorry. Um, but I feel like I need to explain so that I can try to hit everybody who's coming in and wondering where she is or either who she is. Um, she and I started this YouTube channel in 2011. If you look back on the video, she's obviously the resident ginger. And um, we started, we we had a blog together, we've done YouTube together, and um, currently she's just taking a break, and I, if she decides she wants to come back and make more videos, you'll be seeing her. And if she decides she does not, I'll let you know, I'll keep you posted. Um, we still work together, we uh, see each other every single day, and she is still my best girlfriend so um, no worries there but I am still getting a lot of comments and I've mentioned this in a few videos but I know not all of you watch um, every video or some of you watch the vlogs and some of you are watching the beauty videos so I thought I would mention this one more time because I know that favorites um, can be uh, one of the videos that people like a lot so I thought I'd try to hit everyone to let you know um, so that I could answer a few of your questions and uh, so you're, you're probably gonna hear me mention her um, in my videos because we are very close like I said and we see each other every day and we love beauty and we talk a lot and uh, yeah so you'll probably keep hearing her name so I uh, just thought I would clear that up for a hot minute and now I'm going to jump into my favorites for the month um, one thing and I'm glad that some of these are my favorites because I hauled these um, some of these I hauled back in November and never really talked about. So I uh, wanted to talk about this one. It is the Bobbi Brown and it is a long wear gel eyeliner and it's in the color Black Scotch. This came out with their holiday collection. Um, I have been just loving this so much. It is a blackened brown pretty much. Um, let me see if I can find... Oh. Well, this is not the brush I normally use. Let me see if I can find that brush. Come on, brush, where you had? Okay. Okay, so the brush I would normally use with this is a Sigma Eyeliner in E05. Let me put that down. And it's just a pointy little, like, pen style kind of brush. And I would just dip it in here. I'm going to try to swatch it for you so you can see. I don't know if this is readily available anymore. It might not be. You might be able to find some at CCOs. Um, or you can always check your, your counter. Um, but it's just a deep, deep brown and I love it. It is such a nice alternative to wearing just a, sometimes your normal brown or black, and the gel formulation is actually really easy to work with, and I like this pencil. I just, you can just start um, in the middle. I usually tend to start like in the middle here and work my way this way and then come this way, and you can either have a skinny line or you can build it up and make it a thick line. You can use this for winged liner. Um, oh, I need to get a new. I need to get an, a wet one. Mine's dried out. But anyway, that has just been fabulous. I love, love, love to wear that now. Um, so let me put, as I talk, I'll put them away. Uh, another thing that I have used for a while now, I got this over the summer, and I don't think I've actually ever put this in a favorites, um, is the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector. It looks like this, and I'm in light medium, so it's more of the pinky shade. I'll tell you why I never really put this in favorites. When I first got it, I think I was hoping that I could just use this, as in nothing else, just put this under my eye um, and, and keep it moving. And I tried using it that way for a while, and then I was like, eh, I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, and I put it to the side. Um, the last couple of months, I've been going to this a lot. I layer it, I use a regular concealer um, here, and then I come back with this, and I just take my finger and I just, tap it in like so and I think it does a really good job just adding a little bit of extra coverage and a little bit of brightener um I don't know if you can tell a difference but I really do like 
like this and it's taken me a little bit to get to that point but I definitely love it and um, I would I would recommend this and as always if you get products from Sephora Ulta and you are not happy you can always um, you know give it a return they don't frown upon that I think as long as you're not someone who's constantly returning as in you're never happy um, but you know when you're spending 20 some $30 on a concealer I can't remember how much that is but when you're spending a little bit of money you want to make sure you like it Next product is from NARS, and I got this, I think it, this was Sephora when they had the sale um, in November, and this is the Blush and Sin, and you can tell she's gotten a lovin'. I am wearing her today, and I love this so much. A uh, fabulous blush, could kick myself for not getting it sooner. Um, but so happy, that's a very, very light swatch, um, so happy to finally have it in my collection because she's a beauty and I have been wearing her tons and tons and tons and I just love it. Between Narsin and the Hourglass Blush Palette, I'm, I'm good on blushes for right now because they're fabulous. Um, I got this quad as a Christmas gift from Mindy. It's Charlotte Tilbury and um, it is in Fallen Angel and it's four shades right here. You've got a black, a copper, um, a champagne color, and kind of a light taupe. Um, I loved the packaging on this. It's very luxurious. The, even the eye makeup has little stars, and I think that is adorable. Um, what I like about this, first of all, I like the colors. I like the shades a lot. They're great neutrals. But they're kind of, they're not a flat powder, if you, if you get me. Um, they're not sparkly, but they are satin. And they are a tad shimmery, but more satin than that. And I really like these because you can use a brush or these are really great to use your fingers with. And I don't have a problem using my fingers sometimes just to pop on a little bit of eyeshadow. So I thought I would um, do a little swatchy. You do not need a lot. Look how beautiful that is. Um, I know this is limited edition. Um... Let me try to just swatch across my hand. This was limited edition. It came out around the holidays. Uh, I did a post a few weeks ago, and it was still available, I think, on Nordstrom's website. Um, but if I were you guys, if you're interested in that palette, I would just search, um, just get online and do a, do a Google search because it is a great one. And knowing that I love this, I definitely want to try some more of her products. I want to try some of her lip products and I would even get another eyeshadow quad. <laughs> Don't necessarily need one but would like to have one. You know another one. Uh, and then I have the NARS lip gloss in Super Vixen. Um, haul this too. This is the same the same Sephora sale. And this is just a nice like rose gold bronze and it is very neutral. This is um, just an easy color to wear. Um, I really, really like it. It's become a go-to. I keep it here at my makeup table, and it's become a go-to for mornings when I am getting dressed, and I don't always want to th throw on lipstick because I'm, you know, going to start drinking water and stuff immediately. I'll just slap this baby on. And the last two things, uh, one thing I hope you don't mind me talking about because I did just discover this this month. Um, so I did not get a whole month out of the It Cosmetics Hello Lashes extension mascara. Um, I have a video where I did my first impressions review on this. Um, I'll try to link that below so you guys can check it out. Um, but I love this stuff. I love it. I am wearing it today. Um, I love it. So far so good. The little ball on the end has stayed intact with my pre with the other mascara from It Cosmetics. The ball fell off like immediately. Um, this is a melted fiber technology so you it should not have the little flakes, flakiness at all. Um, it definitely lengthens and volumizes. And I know that some of you are probably like, well, it doesn't exactly look like false lashes. Well, you know, for me, if I were to go buy false lashes and put them on, I'm going to get the little wispy ones, not like the bam ones, you know, like the, ah, oh, she's got on false lashes. Um, but for me, this is fabulous. And this has, this has quickly become one of my top mascaras. Um, I love it and I know I got a lot of comments from you guys and some of you went out and got it and you liked it too and I'm so so happy and for those of you that it didn't work on um, 
you know, here's to you finding one that you think is fabulous. And when you do, totally let me know. Maybe I'll try that. And on the IT train again, it is the IT tight line, the waterproof. I hauled this um, back in December, and it was kind of a thing where I was like obsessed with trying it, but I, I kind of had this thought where, am I going to really use it? Is it just a step that I wouldn't use? Um, and I'll be honest, I haven't used this a ton during the week, but the weekends, I have it on today. Um, I should wear this every day. I should stop being lazy and wear this every day because when you get in there in this tiny, tiny little wand and you press it at your um, upper lash line, like the waterline area, uh, it does it does wonders for me. It makes my lashes look thicker. Um, and pulling it through, like act, act, making it act as a primer, I really like that too. But just giving it a little extra black, it helps a lot. It really does change my lash look because I'm not one, especially in the mornings, to, to take an eyeliner. Let's just take this one and start getting up here in that waterline. No. In that tight line area. I'm not going to do that. I might do that if I'm going out for the weekend, but even then I get a little lazy because I just don't find it comfortable for me to do that. It doesn't seem comfortable. This is not a big deal and I love it. I'm so, so happy. And the two of these babies together, which I am wearing today, um, I love. And I just think my lashes look good. Like I am happy with them. And that says a lot because that is definitely uh, a part of my makeup routine that I'm always like, oh, I wish I had like lashes that were like fluttery and beautiful. And, uh, you know, you, you, you get what you get and you need to do the best with what you have. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, so that's the fav they're the favorites for this month. I wanted to say two things. I did an overall 2014 favorites and I neglected to talk about two products. And so this is like my um, addendum to that, if you will. And one thing I'm not even sure you can get, but I had to mention it because I realized I have this on today over another lipstick, um, the MAC uh, Patent Polish Lip Pencils. These were phenomenal last year. I only let myself buy one and was totally just like, you are silly, you should have got another one. But I have straight up used this baby fabulous pink. Usually things for me in this pencil kind of form, they don't always work because they say that they aren't drying, but they tend to be for me. Um, you talk about easy, comfortable, nice, awesome. If you guys have these, pull these babies out and use them. Um, and I am sorry that I didn't go online to see. I just... I can't remember if these are supposed to be permanent or not. So if they are, you need to go get them. And if they're not, I'm really sorry, but I just had to bring them up. Maybe they'll show up in a CCO because these were phenomenal. And this one was, did I say spontaneous was the color I got? This was just amazing. The last product that I could kick myself for not mentioning um, because it was a brand new company for me. Um, it has a special meaning behind it, but it was the Camp Cosmetics KGB. It's the Kristen Game. It was limited edition eyeshadow palette. And um, I do not know what happened and why I forgot to mention this baby, but uh, she was a beauty. She was a beauty, not gonna lie about it. Um, a nice neutral brown with a little bit of this um, really unique gold shade, a uh, little taupe. Uh, awesome. I did a video with it uh, on this. It was a get ready with me. Did it with two other girls, uh, Sarah Print Polish and print, polish, and shine, and uh, Kristen from Miss Kristen321, and uh, love this. And where is the little brush? I used this little baby. It came with a little brush. This is such a great brush to get in here and get under your eye makeup. But um, I definitely wanted to mention it because Camp Cosmetics was new to me. I would have never heard about Camp Cosmetics without Kristen Game. Um, she is a friend of mine on YouTube, and she's a fabulous a uh, YouTuber and person. Uh, so I know all of you guys that are subscribed to me, you are already subscribed to her. So I don't even need to say go subscribe, right? Um, but you should if you aren't. And this was a lot of fun. The quality was great. Um, how exciting for a girlfriend to have her name on a palette and to be able to go through the process of helping the owner, Michael from Camp Cosmetics, select the colors and just have real input. That is a big thing on YouTube. And I realized when I posted that video that I didn't mention that. And I was like, 
why because that this is what youtube is about discovering new brands uh supporting your fellow youtubers and friends especially someone like kristen game who is just she's pretty much one in a million um to know her on a personal level is is pretty awesome and i know a lot of you guys that subscribe to her um, no, feel like you are friends with her. You know her on a personal level, so you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, uh, got this. Love it. It stays out because it is um, it is a palette that I reach for. And she just came out, well, they're selling right now uh, a Game On, which is a lip gloss. Their Lip Lava, which is fabulous. I have a lip lava here that I think is great. This is Trist. Um, and it's a pink and a blush. I think it is Glamour Gangsta Game. I hope I got that right. I've already pre-ordered because you know girls got to get hers. Um, and so if you guys are interested, I will link Kristen's uh, channel below as well as uh, Camp Cosmetics information. But if you want to support her and get some fun beauty products to try, you should totally do that. Um, but that wraps it all up. Thank you so much for being with me today. Um, I can't wait to see what I come up with for February favorites. Um, but I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.